Hello guys, it's Simone and today I'm going to review like my books here. These books are like all the same. Yes, they are all the same. And um, let's start with the adventures of Pinocchio. This video is not going to be very long because I'm not going to like do them all. But I'm just going to like put on the story for you for you can listen to it. But these are like all the same from Pinocchio. They're different stories, but but they're like all the same. So let's start with the Avengers of Pinocchio, and um, it's like a storybook. It's called Apple Tree Books. Yeah, it's called Apple Tree Books. The Adventures of Pinocchio. This is how it's going to start out with the book on there. It's going to be exactly the same except for the storybook. Um, so here are the languages. English, um, don't know, don't know. And these are the page flip, auto, and manual. So right now, you can like click read record bedtime or more bedtime you can like he hear the story when you're like in bed record you can like record it while you're reading and more is like more storybooks i already got them the adventures of pinocchio and read you should just read the book so let's just do read here are the instructions for this book Please take a look at them before you start reading. Those are the instructions about the book. So. Once upon a time, in a small town, lived a carpenter named Geppetto. He lived a very lonely life. So when Mastro Cherry learned of it, he gave him a piece of speaking wood and asked him to carve it into a puppet to accompany him. The puppet had a pair of bright, large eyes a straight nose, so, and a round uh, mouth. Geppetto put a leather outfit on him. What a lovely puppet. From now on, you will be my son, and your name would be Pinocchio. In order to make Pinocchio smart and useful, Geppetto walked through the cold and snow to sell his overcoat for money to buy textbooks for Pinocchio so he could go to school. Pinocchio leapt for joy. It's great! I will go to school like other children. The next day, on his way to school, Pinocchio became very distracted by the lights and sounds of a circus troupe. He thought, My poor daddy sold his overcoat for my school. Now he's shuddering in the cold. But I can go to school tomorrow. There isn't a circus every day. Without thinking another moment, he exchanged his textbook for a circus ticket. Many other children were doing the same thing. Pinocchio and the other children could not help themselves in the circus and made all kinds of trouble. The circus owner, called the Fire Eater, seized him. The Fire Eater was enormously angry and told Pinocchio he would use him to nurse the fire. Pinocchio sobbed. Oh, I'm so very sorry. But I didn't do it intentionally. My father has sold his clothes to support my going to school. Now if you burn me, he will lose the sun. How cruel that would be. Hearing this, the fire eater was moved by the story. Chaos you have caused around here makes so, me as mad as a wet hen. But your father... On his way back. All this is like... This is like, here the words. So you can like read, and then it like reads it out loud. And then like you'll see the pictures up too. Turn the page by click, and then like drag, click, drag. So um. Yeah. So, um, that's like all that they really are.
So, um, like, that's mostly it. So, um, I'm trying to go and show you to the end, where there's, like, something. So, the end is, like, the end is going to be, like, um, when I, like, stop, that's when, like, it's going to be the end. It's kind of hard turning the pages, but you can just click there and, it, and the page turns. But the easy way is just to do this. And this is the end. And here's more books and like... That's just the story. So... As I was saying, like all the other books, these are just like all the same. So, um, bye guys.